Yeah, what's up? I don't know if this video is going to work out too well because I am driving at the time. But, I got a little story. I just got off of work. Uh, yeah, just trying to think of what I'm going to make tonight's video about. I gotta roll the windows. Hopefully it's gonna be a little bit less too loud now. So, there's this uh, crazy dude that came in. Clearly on drugs. Clearly on all sorts of drugs. Um, he came in, he, he placed an order online. And uh, he waited like precisely the one hour that it takes to uh, for it to be ready. In theory, although oftentimes it takes a lot longer, sometimes it takes several days, they're supposed to get an email whenever it's ready. But he just came in, uh, it was like a fucking $2,000 order, even more maybe. One of them was an unlocked cell phone, one of the things that he bought. And uh, if you know anything about cell phones and the way that, that cell phones work, especially unlocked phones, they're very, very high cases of fraud. And so there's extra steps taken to ensure that it uh that it is a legit purchase and so we were sitting there waiting for like he came in I told him I'm sorry it's not quite ready we'll see if we can pick it and then I I had to talk to a manager to see if we could go ahead and and make that happen and they're like oh no uh there's a cell phone on it we have to wait for fraud checks to go through and so I let him know that I was like I'm sorry but we got these systems that uh, they, they do extra special checks for fraud whenever there's a cell phone in the purchase. And so we're going to have to wait until it goes through. And he got pissed. He started, like, yelling at everyone. Um, walking around the store yelling at random people. It was ridiculous. Eventually, uh, he started calling customer service and yelling at them. Telling them that we're doing really, really shitty job. And that, uh, you know, we're treating him really poorly. Even though we're literally just saying, I'm sorry, dude, but like, we have to wait for our systems to pass this or else we're not going to be able to release this because if we do, we're going to get in trouble. And, uh, and he was just having none of it. He was getting really, really antsy. And after contacting uh, customer service, spending like an hour on customer service, on a call with customer service, he was like, okay, they told me to tell you to call the bridge. And we're like, all right, so that the bridge is our own, like, that's what us as uh, as employees call. So we called them. Uh, we were put on hold. We told them the situation. They're like, okay, we'll see if we can uh, we can put that through. We're gonna contact our our team to see if we can get it approved or not. And uh, they were, we were on hold for like 10 minutes. They came back. And they're like, no, nope, we cannot approve that. Sorry, but you gotta send them home. And so I told him that, and he was just super pissed off. I guess it's really not as interesting a story as I thought it was. Or maybe I'm just a terrible storyteller. But yeah, so uh, that's what happened today. That amongst many other things, this today was just wow. I work at customer service at a Best Buy and holy fucking shit. It was nuts. Like so many problems. Actually, I mean, even though there are a bunch of problems, a bunch of hard problems, I still consider today a good day. I felt fine. You know, nothing like depression-wise or anything, which is what makes something a bad day to me these days. But also, it just happened to, uh, I happened to, what do you call it? I, I overcame all of them, all the problems, all the all the challenges. But yeah, so that was my day. Uh, how was yours? <laughs> Go ahead and leave a comment or a like, maybe subscribe if you're new here. Um, yeah, peace out. Have a good night.